Okay, here's gonna be the Quinn and Bob feedback video. And so I got these videos here. Um, I got several of them from the Quantum Alliance when I first started and through my teacher, I have several of these videos um, from Dr. Debbie Drake and others. Um, I'm also certified in skill biofeedback. And so this is basically the start page here. And so basically, uh, the device is connected into your to your head with eight electrodes that go onto your forehead and then four other electrodes for each limb. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off here. And so we have to enter the password. And then we go to demographics, which is where we enter the SOC index. So this is the questionnaire. This is the main questionnaire here. So for instance, this will gather some baseline information for the program. It's one of the most largest medical software on the market at this point. And so what we're going to do is we're going to gather a database of information and we're going to we're going to compare it to other databases and see how and we're going to get some basic reactions to substances. Okay, so the way we gather the reactions to substances is that the device and or software contains electronic shapes of substances. So the electronic shapes are voltage, amperage, resistance, etc. It's a tri-vector uh, system. So basically we have three uh, signatures of a substance. Voltage, amperage, and resistance of a substance. So every substance, for instance, vitamin, mineral, herb, has a voltammetric signature. It's a tri-vector signature. And so the database has the tri-vector signatures, over, over 10,000 tri-vector signatures. And it basically bounces them off your body to see how your body reacts. And then, you're, then the system calculates if you could use some of these tri-vector signatures and helps to balance the body in that way. So this is the main page here. We're gonna ask you some questions. Uh, have you ever had any organs removed? and teeth may can be considered an organ. Uh, are you taking any synthetic drugs and how many? How many times a day do you smoke? Number of steroid drugs used in the last year. Number of metal fillings in your mouth. Number of metal fillings current or present during the last year. Number of street drugs used number of all known allergies, number of unresolved mental factors, for instance, greed, sadness. Okay, so these are mental factors. Fear. Okay, on the number, on the, on a scale of one to 10, how responsible do you feel for your body? And if you're coming for a session, I wish that you would answer these questions, have these questions already answered for me, so I can enter them into the system. All information is kept private and no information is released um, except uh, through court rec requisition. Uh, the amount of fat in the diet and percentage. Okay, so personal stress on a scale of one to 10, where are you? 10 being the highest. Sugar type products per day, including soft drinks, ice cream, etc. Exercise sessions per week. 20 minutes or more, not including work. So the mind has a different mindset when just exercising for the health of it. And work is not, it doesn't, it didn't have the structure for improving health. It's basically exercise. Okay, so next is the alcoholic beverages. How many alcoholic beverages per day do you have? Cups of coffee per day. How many cups of coffee or caffeine products do you use per day? Extreme toxic exposures per year, radiation, insecticides, chemicals. Number of major injuries in the past, for instance, broken bones. Number of major infections, for instance, mumps, measles, chickenpox. 
number of glasses of water per day or natural fruit juice per day how many kilograms overweight are you okay so we fill all this yeah, stuff so out so let's see uh, so the next part is the calibration we did calibration basically calibration so what this does it senses a few electrical impulses into the body to see how the body reacts and then it gathers gathers the baseline for the therapy and once again the therapy is the tri-vector signatures of substances so the, once again the tri-vector signatures is the voltage amperage and resistance of certain vitamins minerals herbs drugs etc and then it watches the, the the system will watch your reaction to these electric signatures and send out more of such signatures if the body um, reacts if it needs it okay so the next part is of course the test we go to the test now this is gonna also start t testing all these thousands of signatures into the body and so I'm gonna skip this test because I've already done it and I'm gonna go into some other unique features um, as you can see there's a lot of things here in the red that have come up uh, and this the things in the red are basically the things that the body is reacted to it's it's, it's you actually have to cross references to, to, to see if um, uh, the body needs this or is allergic to it so you have to do a little a little bit of study here on, on these substances here in, on this page so once again we're going to go into some okay we're going to do some settings here this power we're going to activate the quantum indeterminacy field so the quantum indeterminacy field um, basically it gives you more choices it, it it opens up the field a little bit wider so that um, and we're going to shield from remote viewing and then we're going to activate positive, positive consciousness, consciousness field. And now once again, uh, now this is the unique part, of, one of the unique parts of the program. This program can go into uh, personality, uh, personality, mood disorders, etc. So this here, we're gonna um, check for, I'm going to check here for um, traumas, basically traumas that have happened to me uh, since the age of 26. And so this is a little pink and black box that pops up, basically indicates that the device is hooked to the software and uh, the software is working uh, the way it should with the device attached okay so we come up with okay so what we're gonna do is it says I'm actually a little bit dehydrated at this point okay so trauma detected okay so I have a conflict with forgiveness and physical trauma skin memory okay so what we're gonna do is go to find the path of these traumas that I've experienced. And sometimes it takes a while. The, the system is not an on-off system. Basically, it's a trinary software. Um, and so it's, it has sort of a mind of its own. It's like the... Uh, the AI, the AI doctor at this point. So that will be the next. Uh... Okay, so here's a, here's part of the, the trauma, uh, uh, emotional conflict with, oh, uh, forgiveness, uh, forgiveness with father and friends. Okay, don't, don't most of us have that. And what we can do is we can actually do therapy for this. And the way it does therapy basically it has a wide wide range of frequencies it can send out the right frequencies, the electronic signatures of certain substances, herbs, vitamins, and minerals to help balance this kind of thing. Um, and then my personal note here is that a lot of times, you know, you may not feel this immediately. Um, 
but you may feel a little bit uplifted for a couple of days and or start having dreams about these things that we're talking about. And so this is actually known as the butterfly machine, the butterfly machine. So it's the small changes that may have large effects. Okay, so so this is the um, this is what they call the NLP uh, panel, and you can go a little bit deeper into this. Um, just for the sake of time, though, I'm not going to uh, go into this too much more. Now this is up to the age of 27. Now we can go all the way up to even past my age and or minus my age to see what comes up. Um, for instance, uh, there was what I uh, came up with one minus age and there was some trauma in whatever my my with my mother and when I was in the womb and so it sounds a little bit crazy but it's the largest medical software in basically in the world so uh and there's newer versions of the software um so let's see it's showing a uh, childhood age of four so apparently there was some major trauma that I had when I was four um and I don't recall I believe it was with my parents um yeah so with my parents they were uh uh, I believe uh, it was like uh, some some conflict between my parents, basically. Um, they're all also showing pathogens showing up um, and toxins as well as at the age of nine. So I'm trying to think about my age of nine, what I was doing at that time. It was probably I probably have something to do with uh, school and breaking up with whatever under the wing of my parents. Um, so. Basically, you'd want to explore these things so You could for instance think well, what did, what did I what did I learn at the age of nine? You know, what was that? What did I gain positive out of that? You know, so you kind of go back and you write this stuff down It brings clarity this to the subject and may help resolve any sort of stuck Stuff that you have that's programming you today Okay, so we're gonna just basically make a report of this it adds the data to the main database for the therapy Okay, so let's see the next one. I want to go to let's see, let's see. Now this actually can go into the spine, and it can tell you you're gonna like what's going on with the spine. So I have, I have my C4s. Uh, I'm not sitting up straight at this point, and my L1 lumbar is sort of experiencing stress okay so we're let's see I'm trying to go back into the <clears throat> trying to go back into the NLP okay so basically and then this is the toxins this is the environmental toxins and so we can see what environmental toxins we have in the body they're adding up for instance here top top is mental retention of toxins okay so and then we have amoeba which is high and what do we got uh the heavy metals is high radiation is high for me and uh so it gives you an idea there's uh so we got uh what is it uh dairy toxins is somewhat high and then we can also give uh therapy for this as well uh for the sake of time we're just gonna move move along here uh and so uh, this is back to the NLP, and then we're going to we're going to close this, and then so we're closing this, and then we're going to go to oh, let's see, uh, uh, let's go to a couple of different things. Okay, so now this one here, I've got the uh, sounds turned off, so basically. Um, you won't hear the sounds, but the, the device will actually give you an indication of when it senses that um, through the body parameters, the skin resistance, etc. When you've made a positive change. Okay, so here's a mental factors chart. Things are coming up high. Rejection, aggression, aggression anger. And it's what's unique about this software is basically... It goes into personality and um 
here is okay so this is step one doubt uh, so self doubt focused mind okay and perfectionist these are some things that have come up and so what we're gonna do is we can start this and then we can go uh, make emotional chart uh, and if we double click on this it should actually let's see give more information and we can do therapy for this as well um, theoretically step two we have psychic pain and anxiety and bargaining then we have jealousy rationalization anxiety unaware impulsive confusion and all these things we can explore ask questions when why what where antagonism denial submiss submissive okay so now if we double click these they will go down in the therapy box and then we can do therapy for this and so that's a little bit about the biofeedback the quantum biofeedback and if you're interested in a session i can set you up with a session we can also work remotely with a voice print and or a fingernail or hair sample um, it may not be as effective remotely but uh, it's amazing uh, how it works it's kind of like calling you up on your cell phone basically it uses the frequency of your DNA to basically call you up and send you those signals send you the therapy text or whatever via the airwaves via the radio waves and so that's a mini quantum uh, quantum biofeedback session for today. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.